what have you been able to accomplish so far? You're in, uh, you're doing restore restoration or rehabilitation of this building. Yeah. And uh, how is that going? Where did you start? And describe your progress up to right now. And um, yeah. Sure. Good. Uh, yeah. So Love Soluble was incorporated in 2019. Okay. And. We have a board of directors. Mm -hmm. We've been working towards figuring out how to open the center. Okay. Since 2019, I've uh, contacted you know several politicians and mm -hmm. organizations that provide funding, Trillium, things like this. So obviously, in order to have a program, you need a center. In order, yeah. in order to have a center, you need some money. Uh, so we spent a lot of time figuring out how we could get some money. Throughout mm -hmm. my recovery um, I've also worked two jobs okay um, saved a lot saved money mm -hmm. and um, we started I guess hitting a wall with getting funding because everybody thought hey you have a great idea we've read your program yeah. this is excellent the world needs something like this but I'm sorry that you don't have anything that we can fund. Yeah. Uh, so I w had been looking around for houses mm -hmm. and what was in my budget and I found this house. Okay. That was in my budget. Yeah. Um, because I realized quickly that the only way that I was gonna get this going is if I got this going. Yeah. <laughs> so I, um, and I mean, I. I, I prayed about this mm -hmm. and uh, I knew this was the right way to go. As soon as I walked onto this property, uh, I knew this was the way to go. Um, the property just screamed a, a place of healing with the river yeah. right there. Yeah. Um, the building itself is nobody wanted it. Okay. Which drove the price real low mm -hmm. for this house smelled bad of the animals. Mm -hmm. uh, it had a, believe there was so much junk okay. and the house required so much renovation that mm -hmm. nobody wanted to touch it and I didn't want to touch it yeah <laughs> and I really didn't it but was this a kind of a symbolic of what you're trying to help um, people coming in their yeah. their their life is a wreck and God wants to come in and and start from ground up some uh, 100%, 100% uh, uh, that's uh, he's in that business and uh, this is a work in progress and it is it is and it is symbolic of and this is why I'm very keen on keeping a track of um, a document of what where we started and yeah. where we're going uh, because this whole restoration process will speak as a testimony to God's goodness and power and what can be achieved yeah. when we walk out in faith. Um, and yeah, and all the honor and the glory goes to him, by the way, because, you know, I, I, I took the leap of faith. Yeah. That's what I'm responsible for. Bravo. He provided everything. Exactly. He provided me the strength I needed to work two jobs. He provided mm -hmm. me um, the ambition to look around and the, um, and all of that stuff. Place. Yeah. And so this place, yeah, it's, so in, you, you mentioned something and I'm cutting you off. Just yeah, go ahead. Yeah. He's this, this is on Facebook. You mentioned about documenting it. Oh, it's yeah. on Facebook book. Can you, so that I can put it across the screen yeah, somewhere. Sure. What, what's your handle? Well, or we, have, your? we have a, a private group on Facebook called love soluble. Um, so I think if you look it up, you can, anybody can ask to join. Okay. And then I, an admin will have to approve. So s someone watching this Please. can, can, uh, can uh, uh, through Facebook, make a request that you want to, f that they want to follow you. Yep. If, if that's the Facebook term. That, or, yeah. Or uh, sub not subscribe. I will get a notification yeah. on my account that will say, um, Carl Wake. Yeah is asking to join okay. Love Soluble and then I will Good. I will approve it. Well, I'll first I'll look to see 
Well, who is this person and why do they want to join? And but you would welcome people to follow your, your program. Oh, 100%, please do, yeah. This is, and the, the purpose of the group is um, to spread an awareness of what the ministry, what, what ministry we're doing here. And, um, and also so that people can see the progress that oh, those who are interested can see the progress we're making. And not only um, as a corporation, but in the renovation we're doing yeah. and also in men's lives um, okay. in, in sort of what we're doing program wise um, and if there's you know depending on a client's willingness to participate mm -hmm. in social media you may you may yeah. get some testimony oh, uh, excellent. you know through the group as well thank you what have you been able to accomplish up to this point right and can you uh, uh, briefly yep. take us into that and then we'll go into the discussion around the uh, sure. uh, what how people can help you. So we took possession of this property on September first of this year. Okay. Um, at the same time, I took a person I was familiar with that needed to be in a sober living environment. Okay. But also was a very handy person, mm -hmm. and so he joined me here uh, on shortly after September 1st. Okay. I currently live and reside right here, here in this home. Okay. Um, we have a four bedroom house and then there's a studio apartment which is attached. So okay. I'm living in the studio apartment. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have two residents who are living on the four bedroom house side. Okay. The entire it's place. It's two story, right? You, yep, you yep. got it. One and a half. So. One. They have okay. the four bedrooms are in the half story. Oh, yes, okay. on the second. Looks pretty floor. full to me, but yeah. no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, we're currently offering sober living okay. services. So what an individual gets, so because we we're not funded yet, and we are seeking funding, so I'm not staffed. So mm -hmm. it is just me uh, here providing any service, and so uh, we have a regimented schedule where we wake up in the morning, uh, wash your face, brush your teeth. If yeah. you have hair, you comb it, <laughs> come down the stairs. We have a time where we meet, we have a devotional. Mm -hmm. It's quiet reading in the morning. And then we have a group devotional where we share some readings from 12 step okay. fellowships, have a discussion, and then we have breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll go about our day. Okay. And then in the evening time, uh, contract at a person signs when they come here is that they will attend 90 meetings in 90 days and that's of, okay. an, an, of a 12-step fellowship so yeah. we go as a group out to a meeting every night okay um, we have our dinner together mm -hmm. and so we're participating uh, in recovery uh, in that way during the day uh, one of two things will happen is either we will do some work on the renovating of this house mm -hmm. and as I told you before when we were talking, it's not it's not like a hard day's labor. It's like we're a few guys building a house, working on a house, building it for the kingdom, and building it for the future man that's gonna come yeah. through those doors and for for the for the fact that there will be a place for a suffering addict to come to wow. as an alternative to being incarcerated. Yes. Uh, where we can teach him how to live life outside of the walls, how you can live life in recovery and live life to the full, and then how we can help to support that individual to find employment or education, and then further help support that individual to find independent living and to see to the charges that they have overhanging uh, from their, whatever it was that got them here in yeah. the first place. And then the, the idea is that uh, this individual will have connection to 12-step fellowship if they want to they'll be connected with the church okay. they'll be connected back with their family they'll be employed or getting education or both and then mm -hmm. so we feel that in that modality that a person's likelihood of um, achieving long-term recovery is significantly increased so at the moment we're just doing a sober living okay. and as we seek funding um, we will start to find um, counselors yes. and employees uh, okay. to come here to help uh, to run a, an actual program. 
Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, thank you.